It's been a good year for downtown Fresno, and the downtown Fresno partnership is looking forward to what's next. Well, since 2010, the Downtown Fresno Partnership has been hosting the State of Downtown. It's a way to celebrate the growth in the heart of Fresno and look at the future for more opportunities. So here ahead of this year's State of Downtown is Elliot Balch, President and CEO of the Downtown Fresno Partnership. So thanks for being here. I love this idea. I like that we do this every year and many people do it. So the State of Downtown is sort of like your version of the State of the City or the State of the Union. So what can attendees expect? Well, it's a combination of celebrating the best of who we are and where we've come as a downtown. There have been so much so much investment and development and so much activity that we're seeing uh, every month, every week. So we want to celebrate that. And we want to bring out the best of what we've got downtown. And then we want to look ahead and recognize uh, that there's more work to do and, and talk about how we're going to do that and the fact that we're all in together. And when we think of sort of the state of the union or the state of the city, we think of a speech, but the state of downtown is a little livelier than that, right? It's, it's, we're very focused on our, our amazing downtown Fresno, which is this important part of our region, you know, as a valley and um, is so tied up with our history, but also tied up with our future uh, because it is this wonderful, sustainable and inclusive place and a place where people more and more are finding that it's fun to run into other folks and be able to walk from one place to the other. So downtown is a special place. And as we think about how that continues to develop and grow, this is this is why we're getting together. And so when and where is it? And then attendees, we can get little tastings of restaurants and and uh, food vendors down there. So when and where is it? That's exactly right. It's going to be a really fun evening, tasty, festive, we're going to be at the Warner's Theater uh, in downtown Fresno on Friday, April 21st, and the doors open at 5 p.m. Perfect. All right, let's get to the meat of what we might be talking about down there. What do you think has been the biggest accomplishment in downtown Fresno this year? I feel like this was a year where we could really sort of hit the ground running and we weren't encumbered by things. So what, what accomplishments are you most proud of? I mean, one of the amazing things that we see is just the surge of people. We just had Art Hop last night. We're talking on Friday, so this was Thursday, April 6th. Art Hop, thousands of people. And sure enough, the data bear it out. We've seen that there's studies of uh, where smartphones are going. And they can actually say that downtown Fresno is like number three in the nation for more folks coming to that place, to our downtown. So just that surge of energy and, and desire and excitement that people from across Fresno and the region are seeing uh, when they when they come down. Well, there's not there's nothing better than when we can actually have data that shows how successful we've been at something. Where do you see opportunities for growth downtown? Well, I think where we go with that is, you know, yeah, we can get 23,000 people down here for Fres Yes Fest, which happened just a couple weekends ago, right? Um, those folks often are looking for housing. They're looking for more downtown, you know? So our challenge and our opportunity together is to provide that, is to build that out and uh, keep people find more ways to be downtown all day and night as a resident, worker, uh, business owner, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, I don't see, you know, why there's any reason that downtown Fresno couldn't be this sort of cosmopolitan city where that's where people are and maybe then they venture out of downtown if they want a different sort of experience. But everything you need is is right there. All right, so the state of downtown, it doesn't just end with your closing remarks and your speeches. You're doing something afterwards, right? That's right. So um, as you leave the event, uh, we will give you a Loteria card. So. Loteria is like bingo, and you can uh, collect different spots on your card as you walk down Fulton towards Tioga Sequoia. So from Warner's to there is a nice walk, and we'll have businesses that are open ready to stamp your card. And when you bring a stamped card, uh, you can qualify to win a great gift basket. Oh, fun. We'll waiting. Like a little scavenger hunt. Super fun. All right, so we need tickets to go to the state of downtown. How do we get tickets? Go to our website, downtownfresno.org and you'll see all the information. All right, perfect. That's also where you can find out all kinds of information, events that are coming up. Uh, I know that you guys have some VIP memberships, which I'm really excited about. So Elliot Balch, president and CEO of the Downtown Fresno Partnership, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on another uh, great year of Downtown Fresno. Thank you, thank you. Great to be with you.